Let's create a hard hat project, compile it, test it, and deploy it to a testnet. So let's head over to Visual Studio Code. We're going to open up the terminal by pressing Control and backtick. And then we're going to create a new directory called New Project. We're going to CD into that directory. And then we're going to do npx hardhat. You will have to have Node.js installed. And you might have to install this globally the first time you use it. We're going to use the TypeScript project. This is going to create a, you can just keep pressing enter through all this. This is going to create a uh, template project or an example project for us. You will have to copy this line here and then uh, install it so that you install all of the dependencies. Uh, we're going to give that a second while we go through this uh, hierarchy, this directory structure. So we have three different uh, directories here. We have contracts, scripts, and test inside of our contract. Obviously, we have a contract. We have an example lock contract here. Uh, what this does is you just send it some ether, and then it'll lock that up for a specified amount of time and won't let you withdraw until that time has elapsed. Uh, we have a scripts directory, which has a deploy script inside of it. Uh, this does, does some basic stuff like filling it with a, a locked amount and giving an unlock time. Uh, and then we have a test, which actually tests the contract. And we probably won't get into this in this guide. We will run this, though. Uh, all right, so now we have all of our dependencies installed. We also have something very important called a hardhat config.ts, which is basically just the configuration file for all of hardhat. Uh, and we're going to do this, uh, let's do it step by step. So we'll go mpx hardhat compile. This will compile the contract just to make sure that we don't have any errors. And it's done. Compiled one Solidity file successfully. You can see now there's an artifacts and a cache directory here. Uh, I'm not going to get into those just yet. If I add just a character here, which will make this compilation fail. We can see that if we try to compile it, it will tell us that uh, there's an error. Usually it'll give us a little bit better error message, but uh, you get the point. MPX hardhat test, this will run our test file here inside of the test directory. It goes through each of these tests and then it actually makes sure that they all pass. Now, before we deploy this to a live test net, we're going to need to change our hardhat configuration file. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then we're going to add some networks here, or a network rather. We're going to use the EOS EVM testnet. And it takes in a URL. It is api.testnet.evm.eosnetwork.com. And we're also going to need an account because we actually have to have an account to uh, put into this. So let's do accounts. And then we'll, we'll you know, we'll use a We'll do this properly. We'll use a private key, which we put into our environment. And then for that, we're going to need to require .env. Yeah, there we go, .env.config, which is an environment variable library for JavaScript. Uh, and we do need to install that. So from our project, we're going to do npm i save .env. And you'll be able to see this here in our package JSON. Now we have a .env. Uh, one other thing we have to do here is we actually have to create a new file called .env. And we're going to add private key here. I'm just going to use a private key specifically for this tutorial so you guys can see exactly what you need to paste in here. The private key is longer than the address and does not start with the ox prefix. So you can be sure that that's a private key. If you want to generate one, you can go over to uh, this website, vanity-f.tk. We're just going to go ahead and faucet this with some tokens. So we're going to paste in the address here from faucet.testnet.evm.eosnetwork.com. And we'll send it some EOS. I'm going to do this a couple times just so that it has a couple tokens, has a little bit of balance. OK, now we've imported our environment variable. We've set it here as the accounts. And we can now try to deploy this to an actual network. So we'll do npx hardhat run scripts deploy. And this time we'll do dash dash network and we'll specify the EOS EVM testnet just as we wrote it here inside of, uh, inside of our configuration. We are now able to take this, which is the address, and come to the Explorer, go up to the top right, paste in that address, and you can see that now this address has a contract which lives on top of it. And that's all that you need to know in order to compile, test, and deploy your contracts onto the EOS EVM. Make sure to tune in next time because we're going to get into some smart contract development and have some real fun. Catch you later.